Hello fellow compatriots and today we're going to be taking a look at the Boxor Aquatic Edition. Uh, yes, that's right. We're going to be looking at the aquatic version of the Boxor which I have made. Um, now this, this does have the gear function to allow for the punching but we'll get into that later. Um, it's a little bit big so I can't really put it on the rotating stand. Um, sure, it's not in big in terms of height, but it has a very wide stance, which is why, preferably, I would like it to have the it on the ground rather than on the display. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at the pilot here. I had to go ahead and pull her out. There we go. And her blades do store in the back right over here. There we go. And let's go ahead and adjust this. There we go. Put our blades on. Oh, by the way, I, I, I forgot. <laughs> I'm doing this out of order. Okay, so, I have been busy as of lately, so I apologize. But this is Tanumi, right over here. She is a Sima Torin, and from Mari Nui, so she's a Mari Torin, hence the Mari Torin build. Um, now, Sima Torin are typically blue and gold, so I opted for blue with a bit of dark blue, with gold being in the blades. I'm planning on, at some point, painting the the chest the gold as well so that it can go along with her color scheme uh, of a Sima Torin but for at the moment it's just gonna be silver um, because vanilla parts now uh, how this box or came into fruition story-wise is that when um, Tomari Nuparu went down to Mari Nui he built the Mari Torin box or suits to help them defend themselves against the mutated creatures found in the deep dark waters which always loomed in the shadows. So in order to the Matorins to defend themselves, he developed these box ors uh, designed specifically for underwater missions. Uh, so it, they come equipped with twin Kordak blasters, along with twin hooked uh, claws as well for double efficiency, for grabbing stuff, or for punching things. And on top of that, it comes with some t small armatures for grabbing deep sea findings, and on top of that, it has uh, three propellers as well uh, for maximum mobility. Now, to get a better look at this this big behemoth I'll do a slow rotation so you guys can go look at the overall build so you can go ahead and get the idea how beefy this big bot is so there you go uh, now for uh, Tanumi, basic Mari Bill, except with the exception of uh, this piece over here. But other than that, she's pretty standard in terms of Mari Bill's basic articulation. The mask does not affect the posability of the head at all. You still got full range despite it being a Nuva mask. Uh, she can still pose uh, well with that, that mask on. Now... To talk about articulation, yes, the box or does articulate. It wouldn't be much of a video if it didn't. Now, uh, let's go ahead and go from the feet up. Yes, that's right. So, feet go back this far, go forward this far, and you've got a little bit of tilt right there in the water skis. Yes, that's right, it has water skis in case, of, for whatever reason, the Matora need to go above water, they can ski across the water's surface. Um, uh, propellers, they do rotate uh, and they spin freely. 
Uh, armored little arms. They only go up this far and they can go down all the way. Uh, now they're set up this way so that uh, there is some clearance to have the this the Mari Torrent be able to be piloting this thing while at the same time not interfere with the function. Um, the legs, um, they can go forward this far and they can go back only that far. Um, there's no spread. Uh, main reason for that is because you're going to be pushing down on this figure so when you go ahead and push down to do the function if the legs were able to do the splits um the joints are going to give before the the armatures for the function does which is why it is in the permanent a stance because a stances are typically more dynamic than a straight um legs so i did it in this arrangement so that it look look nice on display while at the same time you could do some poses with it even if it's in an a stance permanently but at least you can get some poses done out of it okay arm um cordac blasters they rotate uh back and forth you know you got full range they can do whatever you want them to do uh let's fold those back um the Smaller armatures here, they move up and down. However, you have to get them, uh, have to remove them when you want to do the function. We'll get into that later. Um, this in the back, the propeller does spin, and you can also um, angle it um, because there is a number three angle element in the back over here. And when you uh, twist it one way, it angles, as you can see here, and it angled just the other way, just then. And you can, of course, straighten it out, and it will still spin, uh, spin around freely. Okay, now for the arms, which do punch, but they can go up. Um, you can also um, angle the arms forward so they can do the punching motion. Go back. Uh, also, you can extend the elbow if you want, so the elbow stretches um, bends all the way out and you can uh, do a 45 degree I would I would say uh, maybe 40 degrees of a 40 degrees I'll give it 40 degrees 4 degrees of bend um, the wrists do rotate so you got rotating wrists there's no up and down movement if there was then Things will be a little bit wanky when it comes to the function. Um, now, that's about it for that. Um, now, to do the function, of course, you can have the Matoran in, in here. But just for intensive purposes, I'll show you what it looks like without the, the Matoran in there. And then I will show you with the Matoran in there. First, you had to remove these out. You're probably wondering, why is that? Because this bumps into this now sure these look I only put these in here because it looks good on display but if you want to play with this thing you had to remove them uh, because it will get in the way from playing with with this big boy so make sure the arms are in their proper orientation but the only thing you have to really do is just push down um, so let's do a side view here Uh, yeah, that's right. It's punching. Let's angle these arms a little bit up so you can see a little bit better. There's one arm, and there's the other arm. And there's both. Left arm, right arm. Left arm, right arm. Left arm, right arm. And now, of course, you can have the arms angled up. So you can do a, a more of a dynamic of a punching motion. You can even have this angled if you want to. Uh, so you got a lot of, of things you can do. And... Yes, you saw I was holding down the crotch. Um, it's best if you do that when you have 
when you want to do the punching function, which you can easily do if you were playing this IRL with a friend. If you have two of them, why would you have two of them? I don't know why, but if you do, um, you can still operate and do the punching. Now, let's go ahead and put our pilot in here, shall we? Um, also, I want to add uh, this. Can You can also put... Um, 2001 Matoran in the, in here. Yes, that's right. You can put 01 uh, Matoran in this box, or you can do that if you wanted to. You can do that. You have that option. Um, in case if you all were wondering, you can do that. So with with her in there, she can still punch um yes that's right now the thing is mari matoran are typically bigger uh which is why i opted for um mari torin um for this boxer but you can't put 2001 matoran in here um so yeah there you go a fun figure to play with now you're probably wondering um uh, how big is this thing? Uh, you're probably wondering that because I'm just looking at it, you know, sure, the Mari Torian is a good scale comparison, but you probably guys want some more different types of comparisons, eh? Well, let me go ahead and do just that for you. Uh, let's go ahead and stand this boxer up proper. There we go, and do that. Now, uh, for a comparison, here it is, right next to Gali Mata. So, in case you have that set, here he is, right next to a Rakshi. So, there you go. There's a Rakshi right there for comparison to see how big this boxer is. And for all of you G2 people, I know. You exist. Here is Kopaka, Master Kopaka, right there. Got that. And of course, the most infamous of all comparisons. Here it is, we're next to a torso piece. For whatever reason, because I know this is everywhere, so if you have a torso piece, there you go. Wow, look how massive this thing is. Look at it, it just holds it in its hand. Look at that. You know what, actually, can we, can we, can we actually get it to hold? Hold, that, it will be amazing if we can get it to hold. I know it can bend down. Oh, I know it can. That's how big it is. Shoot, the box girl can even hold stuff. Let me give me your money. Give it. I need your money. Give it to me. But yeah, old jokes aside, that's how big it is. Well, anyways, that's about it for the box or aquatic version. Now, without further ado. Uh, take it away myself Hello and welcome to the end of the video if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more Stuff just like this be sure to go ahead and, and subscribe And of course if you want to follow me in any sorts of social media you can follow uh, follow me on Instagram Tumblr Facebook Printress and also the TTV message boards and also oh patreon in case if you want to go ahead and give me some support and the links to all those are in the description down below also I have discord as well so you can chat with me if you want to which the link to that is in the description down below anyways that is it for this video so I hope you all enjoy it. and like always I will see you in the next one bye guys